Hi, I'm Dr. Rosa Bell, a board certified neurologist and epileptologist. We are here doing the prolonged video ambulatory EEG. If you're receiving this procedure, your primary care physician or neurologist has referred you for possible symptoms of syncope, blackouts, seizures, altered mental status with headaches, confusion, post-concussion, or many other symptoms they could refer you for. This study can be done in the comfort of your home where electrodes are placed on your scalp by our technicians and we are able to monitor both video and brain waves in your home and help with making a diagnosis of your condition. At this point, our patient has been connected and we are prepping the patient to go home with the video ambulatory EEG. The technicians will explain the procedure and make the patient feel very comfortable with the equipment and any questions they have. The technician will be accessible to the patient 24-7. Hello, my name is Taylor and I work here at Neurological Care Center as well. And I had the answers to some additional questions. For one, a patient asks what you can and cannot eat. We recommend that you don't eat any hard candy, but you can eat crunchy foods such as chips. Patients also wonder what if something comes loose. Well, we're on call for you 24 hours, so if you have any problems, we will assist you and come out to your house, or you could come to us in one of our offices. Another common question is, what if I need to change clothes? Well, if you wear a button-down shirt, it is a lot easier to get in and out of instead of pulling something over your head. So we recommend wearing a loose-fitted shirt or a button-down shirt. Another question that patients ask is, what if I get electrocuted? Well, there's no need to worry. You will not be electrocuted. It's water-soluble paste on the electrodes, and that's why we don't want you to get them wet. So no worries there. My name is Dawn. I work for the Neurological Care Center, Dr. Bill. I perform the ambulatory EEGs, and these are just some commonly asked questions done by the patients. So here's the first question that I'm asked a lot. Does the camera follow me everywhere? No, the camera does not follow you everywhere you go. The camera only stays in two portions of your house. One, either in the dining area or the living room, wherever you relax, and two, in the bedroom while you're sleeping. And that's where you'll leave it at night, just so we can get some information about how you move around, so we get a good read. But as far as the camera following you everywhere, it does not. It just stays at your house. Another commonly asked question is, can you leave the house, go to school or work, or whatever it is that you do throughout the day. Yes, you may leave to go anywhere you need to go. We don't stop you, we don't ask you not to go anywhere. We do ask that if you do leave, you give us a call and let us know. That way, when we go to check in on you, that we're not trying to interrupt your day. Another question, do I wear this the whole time? On top of your head, yes, there are individual electrodes that are placed and they need to be on there the entire three days of study. We do also provide a bandana that goes on top of the head to cover the wrapping. That does not have to stay on at all times, just the electrodes themselves. Another question, do I have to write what it is I'm eating while I'm doing my patient diary? No, we ask that you do the patient diary, that way we have an idea of what we're monitoring. We do not uh, ask that you give us any details on anything that you do, whether that's if you eat something or when you use a restroom or what medications you take. We do not ask that you explain those in further details. Does the computer stay on the whole time? Yes, the computer is a good way for us technicians to check in on our patients. That way, if anything were to come loose or come off, we are able to help you and assist you as quickly as possible. So we do ask that you keep the computer on at all times. What if I have a pain or something shooting down from the top of my head to my foot? Do I need to write that in the patient diary? Yes, that could be a neurological problem and it also gives us an idea of what kind of pain that you might be having. So we do ask that you notate that you are having this kind of pain, that way we can help take care of you. Can I use my Bluetooth device? No. We ask that you don't use electronic devices up to the head for the simple fact that it could 
cause interference with the electrodes that we have sitting on top of the head. So we ask that you limit as much cell phone, Bluetooth, any kind of wireless device up to your ear or head at all. And one other question, do I have to sleep with a bag around me? No, you do not have to sleep with a bag around you at all times. Now, if you do lay down and you wanna take the bag off, we prefer that you kinda of keep it as close to your head as possible. That way you don't accidentally pull or um, dislodge one of the electrodes on top of your head. So please be mindful that if you do take off your bag, to keep it close and not forget about it. But you can take it off when you sleep. Hi, my name's Chloe, and if you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to call. You'll have 24-hour access to one of our highly trained technicians for the duration of your study, and we'll do everything that we can to ensure your study goes great. The technicians are making sure that the patient's data has been entered, that everything is connected, and that the patient has all of her connections well connected. The patient will go home with this compact bag with the camera so that we could have video footage of any events. Once you get home with your equipment, our well-trained technicians will be monitoring both your video and brain waves. If there are any disconnections or any difficulty with the brain wave signal, the technician will be able to make that assessment and assist you. In addition to this, the technician will be with a predetermined time with you, checking on you at specific times of the day. This is very important because we must get the best brain weight signals so that we can have data that we can analyze in helping diagnose your condition. Our patient has now been connected and our technician is giving very detailed instructions on what the patient should do once she arrives home. You cannot eat hard candy you should not chew gum, you cannot take a shower over this period of time, or do any activities that will produce heavy sweating. It's also advised to limit cell phone use to the ear.